If you are using smartphone and if you want to store the files to shared folder on your network, whether this shared folder is on your Windows system or any network attached storage. I have already created a shared storage on the network and now I want to store or I want to save the files from my Android phone to the network storage. So first of all, I need to connect that to the storage. So I'll be going here to search and I'll search for my files here. And inside my files, you can see here, these are three storages which are available. One is the internal storage. So Google Drive and OneDrive, these both are the cloud storage. If you see down, it's network storage. You can use your computer's shared folder and you can connect it to the network or you can use the true NAS or NAS storage. So I'm using true NAS and if you want to know how we can set up the true NAS and how we can set up the network attached storage or NAS storage or shared folder on the network, I have provided the link in the description. So I'll be simply clicking here on the network storage and here you can see there is no network available right now. And I'll be simply tapping here on add network storage and here you can see these are multiple options available. One is the FTP server, another is SFTP server, and third one is the network drive. FTP and SFTP, these are also possible. You can even store it on your internet server also in case you want to do that. I'll be storing network drive here, and here on network drive, I'll be adding it manually, and here I'll be using the IP address, which is 192.168. .240.10. This is the IP address of my TrueNAS server and here I'll be giving the username. The username is phone which I created and I have shown you that in the detailed tutorial that how we can create the user in TrueNAS and how we can create the folder. And here I'll be using the display name. I'll give it a name called TrueNAS and here done and I'll add it now. So this will be a network drive which will be added and you can see here these are multiple folders inside the network storage. I'll be choosing phone data as my network storage and you can see here that these are all the files which are available. This one was the file which was stored from my iPhone. I can simply tap this and I can download and it will be available on my phone as well. So this way you can have the storage devices here. If I go back here to network storage network storage is showing me the true nas inside true nas i have my phone data here now i can simply copy and paste the data from my phone to true nas directly whenever i want for example this one is the file that i want to copy and i'll be moving it from here to my network storage true nas phone data and move here now you can see here that the file has been copied from my phone to the network storage. You can use this for various purposes. You can automate to store the files from your phone to TrueNAS. I have explained you that in a detailed tutorial that how you can automatically do the backup from your phone to network attached storage. So this was all about having the network storage on your smartphone, on your Android phone. And for this tutorial, I have used Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I have provided the review video also in the link. So see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.